Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Red M Resource Showcase. Today we're back on the test server, that being TCW the Commonwealth. So this script we're looking at today is made once again by Blue from Sin Scripts, Blue from Sin County, and the owner-creator of the VORP framework, which is one of, if not the biggest framework for the Red M roleplay servers. So the script we're looking at today is called Sin Underground, and it's the ability to create hideouts... Uh, with the possibility to make moonshine. So, for instance, I've already made one here. You can go to anywhere, any door on the map. You can use a simple little command as an admin, which is going to be create hideout. So, if I do this, you'll get, you see what I mean. So, now I get the option to put a price down for the hideout, a name for the hideout, and confirm it. However, we've already made one just right here. So, let's show you how this works. So, let's go inside the shack. So we've now teleported inside the shack. So these have all got their own little instances. We're inside the shack. And I'm bloody massive. So let's go through this door. Nope, that's the one we just come in. Let's go through this door. Let's duck down. Okay. I haven't actually looked downstairs yet. So let's have a quick look downstairs. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice near really. Okay, okay. So this script is as new to me as it is to you guys, but it's the uh, it's pretty damn cool. Your own little hideout. Through here, nothing through that. So let's go back upstairs because I've seen the menu that we're gonna need to use. Right, so if we go over to this desk over here, God, it's hard being it's it's a bit of a nightmare being tall. So it says so the ledger down there. It's got the how much funds we have inside our ledger, which is your, like your society funds. And to open the books, let's press G. So if we press G, so we've got different kind of themes. We can go floral theme, a goth theme, a hunter theme. Um, push successful. Exit and re-enter for it to apply. Pretty damn cool. So we made it a hunter theme. So let's go and check that out because I haven't yet. So let's get out. Let's go outside. And let's come back in. See what the differences are. So we're outside. Let's go back in the shack. Back in the hideout. Maybe it was already under. I don't really see any uh, any visual differences just yet. Oh, there's a bedroom over here as well. Very nice. Very nice. But this door doesn't open. Uh, of course it doesn't. But let's go back over to the desk. So let's go back into the menu. Ooh, which is going to be... Is it G? Can I reach it? Let's go back. Ooh, I'm, too, I'm, too, I'm just too tall for this. There we go. There we go. So 1700 in the ledger. Let's go back into the book. So you've got your different themes. Floral, goth, and re refined. So we're currently using the hunter one. So you've got upgrades. So we can upgrade the shelving system, frames, struts, benches, bands. What does this do? Price 100. Which is successful. We'll have to check what that, what, what that's added. We've added a Christmas, uh, something Christmassy to the, the theme. Right, logistics, so we can change the name, the ledger, which is the amount of money which is within our hideout, buy inventory, so we want to buy some inventory, so it says here we need amount 5 hardwood and nails 10, confirm purchase, we don't have enough, okay, we don't have the required materials to make some inventory around here, however, here in, in the test server, if I go over to, go over to this location over here, I can buy some nails, and get the hatchet needed. Hey, I'll show you. The hatchet needed to uh, to chop down some trees to get the hardwood that we need. In the live server, it's going to be a blacksmith who will craft your nails. However, right now, for testing purposes, we can buy nails from here. So if we go inside, go across to this back desk, go into the shop, and we go buy. So we can buy a hatchet and we can buy some nails. Okay. So if we go back to, let's go back there. So let's go back to Valentine. Let's go back to our hideout, which is here. We need to go outside anyway, because we added something. We added something Christmassy. What did that add? Oh, it's actually gone Christmas mode now, buddy. It's bloody snowing. So let's go back in the shack. Okay, let's all our eyes out. Which way was it? Is it that one? Oh, it's this way. Let's 
Let's go back over to the desk. Go back in. So the logistics, we can buy inventory, we can move the shack, and we can add a co-owner co to the shack. So we can transfer ownership, remove the co-owner, or add a co-owner. But we want to buy some inventory, but we don't have... We have the nails, we don't have the hardwood. Like I say, with the hatchet, we can go and chop down some trees. However, I might as well just give ourselves the uh, the wood needed. So our ID is one, so let's go give item one, H wood. Let's go, I don't know how many it was, 20. Is that carrying too much? Okay, let's drop a few things. Uh, fiber and pulp, let's drop some pulp. Drop eight. Let's go drop the fibers, four. Okay, so if we do that again, can we give it ourselves now? We're still too heavy. Let's go 10. How many wood was it? I'm not too sure. Right, have we got hardwood? So we've got, we've got 14 hardwood. How many did it need? Obviously, you can change all this in the configs. So if we go down to the logistics, go down to the buy inventory, uh, cash 100, confirm purchase. It was only hardwood 5 and nails 10. We've got that. Confir confirm. Okay, purchase successful. Very nice. Uh, logistics again so we can upgrade the inventory what do we want this time nails clay so the more items the more ingredients to add extra stuff to your your inventory there where is the inventory at where does i'm not too sure search cabinet where does it add an inventory was it in that menu side let's go around this side there buddy there we go let's go back in that so we got the hideout theme let's go upgrade logistics upgrade inventory ledger which is the money move shack co-owners none of that uh, moonshine still we'll come we'll come to that so logistics so there's got to be some oh i'm thirsty there's got to be an inventory somewhere I'm not too sure where that is right now let's go and find it That door doesn't open. Oh, it does. There's an inventory in here or somewhere. Right, we'll try downstairs. Let's try downstairs. Where does the inventory go? Oh, yeah, open inventory. It's over here, so that's very nice. So let's open the inventory. So the limit 500. That's a big inventory. Awesome. So you can upgrade the inventory with the more craftable, the more items needed. But let's go back over to our desk. There's a few other things you can do here. You can make moonshine. Uh, I'm not 100% quizzed up on how this moonshine still works. But let's go, if I craft a still, I need a condenser, a copper pipe, and craft, or oh, a condenser and copper pipe. However, you can do a wagon robbery to get these ingredients. So if we go to the still mission okay so it says exit shack and start the mission i've already done this i have got the ingredients but i'll show you what it is so let's go outside okay we're outside and as you can see we have a location where we need to go to let me get my gun ready so this is going to take us to a wagon robbery so this is if you're from the sim county server and you see these wagon robberies this is what it's from so let's teleport over here let's take out the driver and hopefully take out the rest of them where is it Okay, so it's here. Let's take out the driver. I'm going to have to get myself one of these rifles. Damn, son. Okay, you are going to need dynamite to blow up this wagon. However, dynamite can be obtained from our black market, which you're just going to have to find for yourself. I have got... Um, I've already been there and bought some. You've got to get the people off the off the wagon to be able to blow it. So if we get down from here, plant the explosive, would you? Let's see at the point. Let's plant that. So this is why I believe the people do the the wagon robberies live over on Sin County, is so they can upgrade. To get the ingredients, the stuff they need, the, uh, the condenser pipes, the copper, to be able to upgrade their, now it says rubber wagon, upgrade their hideouts. 
Right, now it says we can rob it. So let's press G. It's taking it items. So this take does take some time. Let's give it a little sec. back to you as soon as he's ready to take the items. Oh no, I'm on fire. Fuck. <laughs> That's not going to help. Oh my god. Would you bloody believe it? Didn't see that happening. <laughs> Revive one. And we can't do shit right now. Oh, marvellous. Marvellous. Damn, so near birdie. Would you bloody believe it? We are down. We are toasted. Uh, let me just... <laughs> let's just leave it. To see if we can still get the items in our inventory. Luckily here in, in the test server, you don't lose your items. You don't lose your cash. You don't lose anything when you, when you respawn. Revive one. It's not doing anything. Don't think there's anything you can do about that. Uh, nope. And I'm not on the... Uh, I haven't got the other admin menu right now. So we can just get after wait. It's only a minute. Hopefully it still gives us the items anyway. But like I say, this will give you the items you need to then go and upgrade to uh, your moonshine still. Which is what I believe to be able to create your own moonshine in your hideout. See, so yeah, that was uh, unexpected. The last time I uh, tested this, it didn't go on fire, so I didn't know we could <laughs> we could bur burst out in flames. But you you live and learn. But we're not going to respawn anyway. We're going to wait for the taken items to complete, and hopefully it's still going to give us the items. It should do. Then we'll respawn. We'll have the items on us. We'll go back to the hideout, and hopefully get this still installed. Which uh, this is part of this resource we haven't done yet. We're doing this live together right now. Hasn't got long. Hasn't got too long. Right, we could respawn right now, but we're, we're going to wait for these taken items. Hopefully, it still gives us the items. It doesn't bug out, but I'm not surprised if it will, because we did just uh, just die. Let's see what happens. What's it want to give us? Oh, it didn't say anything. Well, hopefully, we've got them. Right, we've respawned. Down in bloody St. Dennis. Right, I've still got everything on me. Okay, so we've got the rubber tube. We have a distillery pot. Condenser. Okay, I think we've got everything we need. So let's go back to... Let's go back to the hideout. So the hideout's over here. Forward slash TPM. Okay, let's go back in here. We should have everything we need. Let's go back in the shack. Okay, can't see anything. Let's go through. Okay, back over to the table. And we're going to go open. So, the I'm not too sure about the hideout theme. Uh, the upgrades... I haven't really come to either. I presume it's just upgrading your hideout to add different things. Um, the logistics we've been through, you can change the name. It's your ledger is the money for your that you've got in your in your hideout. Upgrading the inventory, we just bought an inventory which is downstairs, and you can upgrade it with more items. Move the shack and co-owners menu. Okay, we've done that. 
Uh, but this time we're, we're just doing the moose shine skills. So let's craft the steel one. So c we've got a condenser and we've got copper pipe. Have we got copper pipe? I think we had copper pipe. Not enough materials. What is it that we're missing? Uh, rubber tube. We're missing copper pipe, I believe. So let's give ourselves a copper pipe. Give item one. Copper pipe one. Hopefully that's what we needed. Copper pipe. Oh, so we've got two. What is it we need? Let's have a look again. Moonshine still. Condenser and copper pipe. Craft still. Not enough materials. In the hideout inventory. Okay, I need to put them in the inventory downstairs. We have got a condenser from the robbery and we have got the copper pipe. So let's go to the inventory. Let's put them in here. So if we go put you over there. Two of them. And then we need the condenser, which looks like what? Condenser, condenser. Is that a condenser? It is indeed. Two. Okay, now we should be able to install a moonshine still. We're going to be uh, make our own moonshine and sell it to the locals. That is the plan. Right, so let's go back over to the desk. Open it back up. Go to moonshine still. Craft a still. Craft. Not enough. How much do we need? Moonshine still, craft still one, craft still one, craft level one still. Oh, it tells you there, three of them and five. So we need five copper pipes and three condensers. Okay, let's go back down to there then. I've got that. So you'd have to do quite a few wagon robberies to be able to install this. Okay, so if we give cat copper pipe, let's give us another three. And um, we need condensers. Condensor, was it so? Four. Hopefully we got what we needed. Okay, so let's go. Uh, copper pipe. That's rubber pipe. Where's the copper pipe at? Copper pipe, copper pipe, copper pipe, pipe, pipe. Did I not give myself any copper pipe? What's that? Dynamite. Copper pipe. Condenser. Okay, yeah. Right, so we've got the condensers now. So let's add another four in there. And the copper pipe, which looks like that. Okay. Copper pipe. Give item one copper pipe. Okay, I'm getting this um, the name on. Let me just check what it's actually called. Copper pipe, I presume it's just copper pipe. Let's have a look. So you'd have to do a load of wagon robberies to get these materials. Copper, copper. Condenser. Copper pipe. Would you believe it? I haven't got copper, copper pipe in my database. Stand by on that one then, buddy. So let's go... Um, Right, we'll restart this when I've got copper pipe in the database. I didn't realise. So, be right back. Or maybe I got it wrong. I think it's pipe copper. Let's have another look. Looking at the script, it looks like it's kite pipe copper. Yeah, it is. Okay, we have got it. My bad. Um, that's confusing. Pipe copper. Pipe copper. Okay, so now if we go back into the inventory, save us restarting. There it is. Okay, three. Three of them, except. Let's come out of this. Let's go back upstairs. So we've got loads in the inventory now. So we should be able to craft this still. Back to the side of the desk. Moonshine still. Craft still. Confirm. Still crafted. Exit and re-enter to apply. Okay, so let's go and exit. Let's close the door. There we go. Let's exit this. And let's go back in. So there's loads to this resource. We're, we're investigating this together. I have never looked at it. Let's go for 
for this guy here. Right, so let me just check if any other options in here now. Wish I could craft still two. Craft level. Okay, so you can upgrade your moonshine still as well. So we'll have that be downstairs. If you're thirsty, okay, let me just have a quick drink. Thirsty work, buddy. Right, let's go back downstairs. So I presume the moonshine still isn't here. What is it we're looking for? It's in here. Oh, damn, son. Oh, damn. Evening. Evening there, buddy. Evening, partner. Ah, poor moonshine. Eat almonds. Okay, so I presume this is it. Are we missing a bit of a map? Oh, Christmas theme downstairs. See, it's Christmas Evening, trees. Evening, sir. Evening there, buddy. All right, so that's poor moonshine. What's that do? Oh, very nice there, buddy. Drink moonshine. So how do we pull it in a bottle and uh, yeah, keep some? I, I think I've had about enough. Oh yeah. Alright, okay, now we're moving. So how do we eat almonds? How do we get bottles of it? Not too sure. So once we installed the so I, I get the theme now. It adds a theme down here, and we've got the Christmas theme at the minute. But from what, from my understanding, we should be able to watch face. We should be able to uh, make moonshine. Create. To, I mean, I could be wrong, but we, I think we should be able to make moonshine to uh, to sell to the locals. Open Bucky. Let's try this then. Place your bet. Pop. Betting menu. Odds a deal. Betting menu. Or is it just a case of being able to drink your own moonshine? By the way, that's pretty damn cool. Evening. Good evening there, fella. Right, let's evening. take another look around here. Distillery pot. Use. What does that do? Sweet sip. Serve moonshine. Eat almonds. Where we come in, okay, that's our inventory. So we've got our own actual shack down there, which is pretty damn cool. Anything we can do over here? Moonshine menu. Mash, still level one, mash still. Mash, alcohol, blackberry mash. Ah ha ha. Water, alcohol, apple, glass bottle, confirm. Mash menu. So I need water, alcohol, okay, here's your menu to make actual moonshine. Ah ha 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 ha, I get it. So that's cool, not only have you got your own your own bar downstairs, this is where you're going to make your own moonshine. So if I give myself them ingredients, let's have a look what we need. What's this still all about? Okay, this depends on which one I want to make. So one water, apple mash, glass bottle, sugar. Water, apple mash. Let me give myself this lot. So let's go uh, give item. Apple mash. Three. Never seen this lot before, so maybe. Uh, this is sap. Which makes sure I've, I'm probably missing a couple of th these things in the database because, like I say, this is the first time I'm investigating this with you guys.
apple mash. I bet it's mash apple. Uh, let me just check the script. Agent Ransack. Mash apple. It is, yeah. Mash apple. Okay. Let's check this then. Mash apple. Three. Okay, which one's that then? Peach seeds. Apple mash. Okay, we got that. Now what do you need? Prepare mash. Distill menu. Prepare mash. Apple mash. Oh my god, there's so much to this. Glass bottle 15. Sugar one. Okay, let's see if we can give ourselves a glass bottle. Glass bottle fifteen. We've got apple mash, we've got glass bottle fifteen and sugar. We need some sugar. Sugar. Got sugar? Where's the sugar at? Sugar. Okay. Do this. Let us do this now. Apple moonshine. We're gonna have water on us. Confirm. Not enough materials. Ah, oh, we've got to put it in the eye out again. Same song. So back to the inventory. Let's open up this. So the sugar. Let's go across there. Three. Then we have the bottles. Fifteen. Then we have the apple mash. Not too sure how many we needed of that, but there's three. Keep that about a minute. Let's have a look. So it's still apple mash, water one. Oh, I need to put water one in there. This is pretty damn complex. Pretty damn awesome. Water one. Got no water on me. Okay. Water three. Let's go back in there. Three. I feel like we need to do that mashing process first. But we'll soon see. Let's go back over here. Let's go G. Let's go still. Apple moonshine. We've got everything there. Confirm. Ah, oh, works. Oh damn, there's a timer down there. So we're currently making some apple mash cider. What's the mash all about? Mash menu. Alcohol, water, hot, confirm. Blackberry mash. Pear mash. Still level one. So I'm making some apple mash moonshine as far as i'm aware i'm not too sure of the, the differences in the uh, still menu and the mash menu however we're going to wait for this to do its thing and then we'll be right back with you but that seems like it's going to uh that's going to take a while i'll be right back as soon as it's finished right then following on for the little previous bit of video where we found the distiller we're now uh, making our moonshine our apple moonshine i've learned quite a bit about this resource and what a resource is so let's just go back upstairs and go through the the actual main menu. Let's go in here. It's in here. Yep, it's in here. Let's go over to the desk. So we've got our ledger, which is our funds that's in the actual hideout funds. So then we go to the hideout. So the hideout theme now we now know is for the theme downstairs in because you've got your own massive bar downstairs, which is absolutely awesome, and it's currently down as the Christmas theme. So the upgrade, so we can update, upgrade all the shelves in the frames, the struts, the benches. We can upgrade quite a few things here, and it will need uh, some prices or some crafting items. Then we have the logistics of the hideout, so the name of the of the hideout, the the money inside your hideout. So upgrade the inventory, which is the inventory downstairs we've previously discovered. Uh, it does. You do need items, so we need some hardwood, we need five hardwood, we need some nails, and we need some clay this time. So the, all these items are purchasable 
or there you can redeem them from what chopping down the trees um mining etc so we don't need to upgrade our hideout just yet uh, we can move the shack and we can there's a co-owners we can have the co-owner or we can give the ownership to somebody else and then we have the moo moo shine still so we have missions so we can get different kind of parts and other wagon robberies we already did the mission one the mission two we haven't done and the craft still two we haven't done either i, I presume this will probably speed up the the moonshine or enable you to to make different kinds of moonshine at the minute downstairs we're making apple moonshine so if we go back downstairs so that door there is where you come into the, into the into the hideout so this was our our inventory over here it's, it's a massive in inventory of 500 slots so that's where you can upgrade that but through this door is our actual bar and as i say it's down it's currently on the christmas theme so we've got a christmas tree in the corner loads of nice colorful lights we've got a bar over there and then but the main thing was was our distillery this is where we make our moonshine and we've currently got 182 seconds left i wasn't sure previously what the the mash was all about but if we go back over to the menu but what the mash is to be able to because like i say right now we're brewing apple moonshine but you need the apple mash and to get the apple mash i would need apples so i can grow apples so i need some alcohol i need some apples i need some glass bottles uh, and then i can make the apple mash which would then be used for the second part of the the menu which was the apple moonshine to craft the apple moonshine uh, same applies for the raspberry you're gonna need to grow some raspberries bring the raspberries here stick them into the crafting menu to make your raspberry mash and the blackberry mash and so on so yeah pretty damn awesome we've worked it all out there's loads to this this actual resource the sin underground resource once our moonshine has been brewed it's going to go into our inventory which is just through that door over there you know the normal inventory and then we should be able to sell it to locals so yeah pretty damn awesome loads into this resource it's a big resource massive shout out to blue because damn it's uh it's a yeah it's a hell of a script so our inventory downstairs the menus upstairs you've even got your own massive bar you can transfer this inventory transfer this hideout add a co-owner Brew up your own moonshine, brew up your own alcohol, and so on. So, yeah, it's pretty damn awesome. We've got 100 seconds remaining, so just over a minute. And we'll be able to see if it's give us our moonshine, which it should have. And we'll go and sell some moonshine, and that'll pretty much be it. You can also... I am a bar missing. I'm not too sure about that, but it's, it's no biggie. You can also drink some moonshine oh, here, eat some almonds. So, free food and water. Hell, yeah, we're going to need some water while we're, while we're here. Have we got any water on us? We haven't. Yeah, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Morning, day, buddy. Morning, day, buddy. This is live eat over on the TCW, the the Commonwealth test server. I'm pretty sure that these hideouts can be raided as well. I'm not too sure what that consists of. Our main focus is is brewing this moonshine. So yeah, we've we've covered up the the wagon robbery parts, all the items you get from the wagon robberies to then make your inventory and then make the distillery. Yeah, it's pretty damn awesome. Loads to it. It's been a hard one to cover because I did come into this blind on the first part of the video. However, since then, we have discovered and learned a lot more about it. And it's, yeah, it's awesome. So, about 30 seconds we made it. And we should be able to go and sell some moonshine. Let me just have a drink of water. Give myself some, some water. Beautiful. Feel, feeling good, everybody. 20 seconds. And like I say, your, our apple moonshine is going to go into the inventory cabinet just across the way down to our final 10 seconds so all this is in the config can you change we as default we will receive 15 moonshine which is quite a lot you can change all the prices of how much the moonshine sells for and you will get the police alerts as well so there we go so that's done so if we go back over to our inventory we check our inventory we should have some moonshine in the inventory and there it is we've got 15 moonshine so let's put that in our in our inventory let's go 15 accept okay so now we should be able to go and sell this to some locals so let's go outside let's go outside of the there we go let's exit the hideout let's go find a local and persuade him to buy our moonshine freshly brewed by yours truly jimmy d Just spotted one over here hey buddy can i interest in you some moonshine anybody here go sell contraband Press our G muscle. There we go, he stopped. 
Doing a handover. Hell yeah. There you go, pal. You have that. Get that down, you pal. Strong stuff. Let me know what it's like, pal. Let me know what it's like. Did he have it? Uh, oh, he didn't have it. He walked off. Still a 15. I need a, I need a, a local that's standard. Stay there, lady. Morning. Morning. Would you like, would you like to buy some old china there, lady? Okay, she having it? Okay, there we go. So we sold one apple moonshine for $30. So good money. We should have 14 remaining. We have got 14 remaining. And that is the the resource. That is the Sin Underground resource. You've got your own hideouts. You can create hideouts anywhere. Then the wagon robberies to get your items needed to go and build your, build your distilleries. Upgrade your inventories. Change all the theme of the inventories, all the different menus, all the different crafting. The more you craft, the more of a level of different kind of moonshine you can craft. But wow, what a resource. Like, subscribe for more Red and resources. And until the next one, I'll see you again. Adios.